Yeah. Well, I think right. really the best thing to start off with, if you're going to do some crystallising, is pineapple, because tinned pineapple. Right. Because it's a very firm fruit, and you have to keep putting it into syrup um, for several days running. Yeah. And if you buy a soft fruit, or use a soft fruit rather, you know, it can go very mushy. Well, you can use fresh fruit. You can use fresh fruits. fruit or canned fruit. Right. But I, I would say start with pineapple, because it, it's firm, you know. But look, that's what it looks like when it's finished, or, or crystallised. That's the pineapple chunks, you see. And these are um, orange rings. Now those I made from fresh oranges. I made those actually because some of the recipes, the sweets I do, um, I like to decorate with orange slices. And the ones you buy are sort of just like jelly. Do you keep them then? Do you take them off the sweet before you serve up and then put them back in the box again? I'm not telling you all my <laughs> secrets. Look, you're, you're going to take it down. Yes, please. You, you'll, you'll, need, you'll need to. Right. You take an ordinary tin of um, pineapples, a, a medium tin, you know, right. I don't know, about 12 ounces, and drain the fruit... Yes, drain. And these are tidbits, actually, or tidbits, whatever you call them. Um, the smaller pieces, because I've, I've done the chunks there, and I thought, well, they're quite big. Yes, I'll, quite I'll a mouthful. Yes, I'll make some smaller ones. So drain the, the juice off them, and make it up to half a pint with water. Put it in a pan. And turn the heat on. My, my writing gets worse. Half a pound of ordinary granulated sugar. That's half a pound of sugar to half a pint of... That's right, right, yes, of juice and water, juice and water. Now, that's got to dissolve. And you know when you're dissolving sugar and water or sugar and syrup, whatever, uh -huh. you have to do it slow. You've got to dissolve the sugar before it comes to the boil. Well, it is always important, but when you're crystallising fruit, it's even more important... Vital. That, that's right, right. That, you, that you let the sugar dissolve... Well, I'm writing um, vital. I hope you remember right. what that means when I come around to doing it. Before it comes to the boil. But while, while it's coming to the boil, I'll tell you, tell you what to do next. Right. When that's come to the boil, OK? Yes. Don't let it boil. Just, just come to the boil. And then you put the fruit into a basin, like that. Pour the syrup over it. Right. And it must cover the fruit. If it doesn't cover the fruit, Lynn, then make up a little bit more syrup in the same proportions. Right. You know. But, but it must cover it the must fruit. It must be totally submerged. Yes. And then put, it, put a cover over it and stand it to one side for 24 hours. 24 hours. Yes. And then at the end of that time, mm -hmm. you drain the fruit out of the syrup. Right. Put the syrup back in the pan. Yes. And add two ounces of sugar. Another two ounces of sugar. That the syrup plus two ounces of sugar. Of sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you repeat that until you've done that Four times, including right. the first time. So that's so four days, four times. The first time you add eight ounces of sugar to the basic syrup, um, sugar and water. Yes. Syrup and water. And then three more times with two ounces of sugar. Right. And then after that, you then take the syrup off the fruit, put it in the pan, and you add three ounces of sugar. The last time, that's the fifth day. This is the fifth day, that's right. Three ounces of sugar. And then you put the, the fruit into that and boil it. Plus okay. juice and boil it. And How boil long it for? for about two to three minutes. Boil two to three. Then, okay. Yes. Then you put it on one side again. Yes. A bit like wine making, isn't it? <laughs> it yes. isn't as difficult as it sounds. When when you go home and read that, you, it'll make sense. Yes. Right. Uh, then you put it on one side for about two to three days. Right. Leave two to three days. Yes. In that syrup. In syrup. Yes. Then you do that again. Then you do that again. Yes. Another and two to three yes. days. And at the end of that time, when the syrup has cooled, it should be rather the consistency of ordinary runny honey. If I'll it write is, that down, yes. runny honey. If it is, then you leave it to stand for another few days, two or three days. It doesn't really, it isn't really critical at that stage. And then you put it on a grid, you know, out of your grill pan, that sort of yes. a gr um, Yes, a grill to drain tray. it off. Yes. Put a plate underneath and drain all the juice off. And I usually leave it about 24 hours to drain right off. Right. And then you put it into an oven as low as you possibly can get it, really, really low. If you can get it really, really low, then it'll probably only take, it'll probably take a day to right. dry out. Um, but if you can't get it very low, watch it, because um, it might only take sort of a few, few hours. hours. You really have got to and test And how do they keep? Oven. Not in an airtight container. In something like, you know, a camembert cheese tub or something, those wooden ones oh, that you can get. Oh, they've got holes in and slightly ventilated. Yes, not, not airtight. But you leave...